Hi, I'm Jen, and welcome to week five of our Take and Make Crafts. If you visit any of our five Clearwater Library locations this week, the week of, you'll find this craft for you to pick up in a bag. This week's craft is a tiger puppet, perfect for inviting to tea parties. Let's get started. Inside your bag, you will need your actual paper bag, a tiger head, one skinny triangle, two short but fat triangles, one tiger tail, six tiger whiskers, one set of stick-on eyes, and a whole glue stick. In addition to these items, you will need some markers or crayons or something to draw with. So to start with, lay your bag flat. Make sure that the bottom flap is facing you. That way your tiger will have something to talk with. Take your tiger head, and as you can see, there is no front or back, so you're just going to cover one side with glue. Stick your tiger head to the flap on your bag, sticky side down. Take your one skinny stripe and two short and fat stripes, put some glue on and glue them onto the body of the bag in whatever pattern you want. Next, taking your tiger tail, you're going to place glue but only on the straight end. Flip over your paper bag puppet and glue your tail to one side. Make sure that a lot of it sticks out. So when we flip it over, his tail pokes out. Oh, I'm gonna place mine at an angle. It's cuter like that, I think. There you go. Now it's time for the best part, decorations. Start with your two sticky eyes and place them wherever you'd like on the face. Next, using the markers, draw a nose and a kitty cat mouth. I'm going to use black, but you can use whatever color makes you happy. A nose and a kitty cat mouth. Next, using your markers, you're going to color and design anything you want. I'm going to put some stripes on mine, maybe some little tufts of fur. We'll see what I come up with. I'm gonna give him some stripes on his tail too because why not? Tigers have stripes all over their bodies. So once I'm done designing, he looks a little bit like this. Stripes everywhere. But remember, you don't always have to do just stripes. This is your creation, which means you could do polka dots or more triangles. Really, you could do anything. Our final step is to give him some whiskers. You're going to take your six black strips and we're going to glue them to either sides of his nose. Now you can put glue all the way down each one of your whiskers or you can put glue just on the ends and that'll make the ends without glue stick up a little bit, make it a little bit 3D. So we're going to try that, but you can really do anything. And if you don't want six whiskers, you don't have to put six whiskers on. You could use the rest of your black strips as more stripes or anything else. and give his little ends of his whiskers a little bit of a curl. Give him some personality, you know? If you want to curl your whiskers too, all you have to do is loop the end right around your finger and gently pull it. Hold it for a few seconds and you can't really see it from that angle. 
but it's curly. <laughs> and our final step is always put your cap back on your glue stick. That way it'll last for a long, long time and you can do a lot of crafts with it. So as you can see, I decided to only put on four whiskers for my tiger, but you can do as many as you want. And here you go, here's the finished product. In order to use it as a puppet, you're going to open up the bottom, put your hand inside, and you can make him talk, just like that. Tiger, get out of that teapot, make me! Thank you for joining me for this Take and Make Craft. If you're interested in hearing more about tigers in teapots or otherwise, make sure to check out our seaside chat about that very topic. See you next time!